So before we start this video, I want to apologize for my absence because I had been under a lot of stress the last few days. My mom was going through health issues, family problems, and so on and so forth. So I really didn't have time to record. But everything seems to be going good for right now, so I'm back at it. But anyway, we got to talk about the Trump whistleblower Biden situation because basically it is the Russian collusion 2.0. You see, supposedly somebody within Trump's cabinet had came out and said that Trump during the 2020, ele I mean, the 2016 election when he was then elect President Trump, not president, I mean, pre President elect Trump, not President Trump, or even even before that, even when he was a um, just another Republican candidate, he had gotten some Ukrainian president, I think, to tap on to Biden and see what was going on with him and his ongoings and see if there was any dirt on Biden or something like that. And what I find funny is the hypocrisy. You see, during the 2016 election, when WikiLeaks was dumping things about Hillary Clinton, the media, the Democrats, all of the other alike were calling them hackers and Russian agents and crap like that. But now, which obviously WikiLeaks people were just honestly whistleblowers because of Seth Rich, but that is wrong think and also uh, it's illegal to read her emails if you remember that one. But now they want to call this supposed uh, whistleblower within Trump's cabinet a whistleblower and not, you know, a foreign agent or something like that. And this is where the Democrats really screw the pooch on this one. Because every single time the Democrats, and the Democrats had been after him for ever since he got into his presidency back in 2016, they had been witch hunting after him ever since then. So that means that even if the Democrats or whomever find actually wrongdoing on Trump's part, you're going to have a huge, huge, huge number of the American voting population who aren't going to believe in. And that's not just talking. Talking Republican voters, I'm talking about Democrat voters and independent voters. Because the Democrats were screaming their heads off about the Russian collusion case, propped it up as it was something honest and something that was actually had merit to it. But then as time went on, we figured out that, yeah, no, it was all false to begin with. So there are the people who believe Trump is literally the devil incarnate, and then you have the other group which thinks he's Jesus. And since the population is so worn out of hearing the Democrats consistently complain about how they're going to find dirt on Trump and they never actually do it, this could be a case of the boy who cried wolf. The Democrats sat back for years calling Trump a Russian agent, corrupt, evil, that they were going to find something on him. They never did. They hyped up the population. They hyped up their voting base. And then they were let down. And now they're going to do it again with this whistleblower case. And and best believe you me, they're going to push this night and day. CNN, MSNBC, Vox News, and all these other ones are going to run this story into the ground till basically that is the only thing you're going to hear coming out of the pundits out of CNN. And then even if they do find something, they are literally the boy who cried wolf at this point. And this is their own doing. If the Democratic Party and if the mainstream media had just shut up about Trump's winning, accepted the election results and try to work with him instead of against him, then if they actually found dirt on him, the public, even his own supporters, might actually scratch their head and squink their eye to Trump and be like, hmm, did you actually do something there, Mr. Trump? You know, but since they hadn't done that and they've been basically quine wolf this whole entire time, what makes them believe that they are going to turn any voters that might lean towards Trump or at least doesn't see him as the literal devil incarnate, how are they going to make them believe that Trump has actually done something wrong when they have spent the last three years witch hunting, witch hunting after him? They're not going to be able to do it. And another big thing, big bad thing against the Democrats, especially the mainstream media, is that this so-called whistleblower is anonymous. And I have reservations believing anything coming out of that because for the longest time, again, CNN would come out with anonymous sources close to the White House, quote unquote, that said Trump does this, Trump does that. And the thing with journalism, you never have to reveal your sources for the good or for the worse. So for all we know, the CNNs of the world could have just propped this up because the mainstream media aren't having a really good time going after Trump recently because they have no dirt on him. And the Russian collusion probe didn't prove anything. 
So that's definitely a possibility. I want to put a pass in and I mean they've done the same damn crap in the, in the in the past. So what makes me think that they're not going to do it now or in the future? And again, the mainstream media really destroyed their credibility during the last three years, consistently talking about the Russian probe and it turned out to be nothing. So again, even if Trump did wrongdoing, even if Trump is guilty of whatever this anonymous whistleblower is accusing him of, half the population or even the majority of the population won't even accept the results at this point. And maybe they'll go down the route that they did with the Russian collusion case, which they beat it into the ground so much that people slowly became apathetic towards it. They, they just didn't care anymore. Because the whole dang investigation lasted three plus years, $35 million worth of taxpayer money to find nothing. So are they trying to bump up another false investigation that's going to cost even tens of millions more of taxpayer money? Here's what I think that might be going on. You see, the Democrats understand that if Trump is under any type of investigation like he was under the Russian one, his approval rating takes a hit. And so maybe if they can buff up a story, buff up a lie, basically to hang over Trump's head during the 2020 election Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren whomever the DNC decides to make their nominee when they go against Trump his approval rating might not be as high as it is now it could actually sink five or three points if the Democrats play their hands right and the mainstream media never stops talking about it but they also run the risk of people growing apathetic towards it they also run the risk of people not believing the mainstream media anymore because the mainstream media had become the boy who cried wolf. So even if Trump did any wrongdoing, the majority of the population left, right, or center won't even take the results anymore because even people on the Democratic side, people who would usually vote Democrat are pretty disenfranchised to believe anything that CNN even says anymore. The Democratic voters have a rougher time as it is because their nominees are going to be either Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren at this point, which neither of them will have high energy as Trump calls it. One is a demented old man, and the other one had lied about her race all of her political career. And if the Democrats bump up another story, another lie, and it actually be, you know, gets proven to be a lie before the 2020 election even starts, that's going to make their voters more, even more dis disenfranchised to go out there and vote because they're probably so worn out by this point. I wouldn't be surprised if half of them actually just decided to go non-political or jump on the Trump train, because it looks indeed that the DNC is actually shafting Bernie Sanders again with Elizabeth Warren. It would be funny if Elizabeth Warren actually becomes a nominee. In Trump's two elections, his two terms, 2016 and then 2020, he had went against a woman and defeated her. That would really make the feminists of the world really dis disenfranchised because if it's going to be Elizabeth Warren, you can bet your ass that she's going to play the woman card just as bad as Hillary Clinton used it. The only difference between Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton is that uh, Elizabeth Warren might actually have a platform versus Hillary Clinton. The only thing that, you know, you know, I'm a woman vote for me and that's pretty much it. I think Elizabeth Warren actually has a functioning campaign, but even though she will use the woman card, but maybe not just as much as Hillary Clinton did. But this whole, you know, Trump campaign whistleblower and he's not even a whistleblower until the claims are actually proven right. What now what we have is an allegation against Trump that he did wrongdoing, not so much a, a whistleblower, but the Democrats and the mainstream media really don't understand the two, or they do, or just, they just want to play political games, because as of right now, it does look like a political hit job, a political witch hunt, and that the Democrats are very known and very well known for doing such things, especially towards Trump or any Republican are and conservative but either way you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below and that's about it for this video peace out guys